Hi friends, how's it going? I'm Vivian and today I'm gonna give you some fall decorating tips that are all really easy and quick things you can do to welcome the fall season into your home. I realize I'm a little late with this video. It should have been out like probably a month ago, but due to some unforeseen and very unfortunate housing circumstances, I had to take a little break from video making. If you've been following along on Instagram, then you'll know what happened. Anyways, let's not dwell on it. The important thing is that we're here and I'm so glad you could join me today. So let's get started. I think transitioning your home into the colder seasons is trying to make your home feel like it's giving you a warm hug when you come in. With that being said, my first tip is to warm up your color palette. The very first thing that comes to mind with fall decor is probably the color palette for a lot of people. As we know, in many parts of the world, nature's palette shifts dramatically in the fall, and it can be nice to echo that change in our interiors. If like me, you're not really like a red, yellow, and pumpkin orange type of person, you can still bring in warm tones to echo what's happening outside in nature, but you might just lean a little bit more muted and neutral. The fall palette I always think of consists of earthy tones and natural elements. So as some examples, think rust, terracotta, clay and tan tones, olive greens, deep rich reds, browns, plum, mustard and navy. And for your darks and lights, you could look at using deep charcoals and creams and warm whites. If you don't like warm color palettes, or maybe you're partial to cool color palettes, or maybe warm colors just don't work with your current decorating scheme. If that's the case for you, then what I would suggest is to focus on bringing in actual materials instead that communicate warmth. So think things like wood, wool, leather, woven baskets, rattan, sisal, stone, dried foliage, and ceramics. All of these materials will play well with most color palettes and will do a really great job at introducing warmth into your home. If you remove your throw pillows and throw blankets for the summer season, it's time to bring them back in and dress them up for fall. You could get updated throw pillow covers in some of the warm tones we mentioned before, like rust, amber, gold, mustard, creams, and terracotta. Make sure you get a good mix of solid colors, a couple of different scale patterns, and different textures. With your textiles, try to introduce cozy textures like velvets, heavy knits, and faux fur. I think it's really nice to have extra blankets that are readily available in the fall. Make sure you drape them over some of your chairs, over the sofa arm, and put them in baskets in the living areas where people hang out in your home. If you're lucky enough to have an outdoor fire pit, or if you're still using your outdoor space in the cool fall evenings, then definitely make sure you've got blankets readily available for those moments. Light sheer curtains are great for the hot summer months since they let in all that beautiful sunshine and they can really make a space feel bright and airy. But when it gets chilly outside and the days start getting shorter, you might want to consider swapping out your window dressings for a more substantial fabric like velvet. Not only will this help keep the heat in when you close them, but the thicker fabric gives off a completely different feel, much cozier and cocoon-like. And while you're at it, make sure your curtains are hung properly. Some people like to remove their rugs for the warmer season. So if you're one of those people, make sure you bring your rugs back in for the fall and the winter. If you're tired of looking at the same old rugs every year, try experimenting putting them in different locations in your home. You can also layer rugs if you're looking to try something new. Besides being very pretty to look at, rugs obviously also provide some nice extra insulation for your feet on those cold days. I still have a few more tips, but I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank you for watching today, especially if you're a subscriber. It's super easy to forget about people on these platforms. I'm not that memorable, so I really just wanna say thank you for watching today. It really means a lot and I appreciate it. Okay, let's get back to the tips. Using scent year round in my home is a non-negotiable. Check out my video on how to make your home smell amazing. I think it's a good one. I know that scent is a very subjective thing, but for me, it's very fun in the fall and winter to switch up the types of scents that I'm using. So in the summer, I might use more floral, fresh scents, whereas in the fall and winter, I crave like woodier, smokier scents. In the fall, you might also want to try scents that are a bit more gourmand, but it's obviously a totally personal preference. If you're not normally a scent person, I definitely recommend you try introducing some form of scent this year, just to see. I think it really adds to that cozy autumn vibe in the home. Candles are always a vibe, whether you choose to use scented or not. There's nothing like lighting a candle to make your home feel instantly welcoming and warm. 
So be sure to have plenty of candles on hand to create the ultimate autumnal mood. If you're forgetful, accident prone, irresponsible, get drunk a lot, have small children or pets that are unpredictable, consider using fake candles instead. It's pretty much the exact same effect, but they won't burn your house down if you knock one over. No matter the season, we always wanna be bringing in natural elements into our homes and into our decor. It can be as simple as a vessel with some branches in it, or it can be an extravagant centerpiece. It's totally up to you. But definitely try to make sure to sprinkle some greenery around your home during the fall season. For an understated yet really chic look, I recommend experimenting with elements like long sculptural stems and branches, dried flower pods, eucalyptus, and things like wheat and dried grasses. It doesn't have to be an expensive store-bought bouquet or anything like that. You can just go outside and clip from the plants and trees in your neighborhood. Not everyone is a pumpkin person, but if you are, then obviously now is the moment to bring those into the mix. It's important to remember that not all pumpkins are orange. You can find lots of different types and colors. And even if you do end up with an orange one and you don't like it, you can always paint it another color. One tip about integrating greenery and natural elements is if you've got a lot of color going on already in your home, then try and keep your greenery and natural elements kind of more muted or monochromatic so that things don't become visually overwhelming in your home. In the cooler seasons, for me, the perfect bed consists of a fluffy down duvet and lots of cozy pillows. I actually like using two duvets to dress my bed in the winter. But in the fall, it might not be that cold yet. You might not want to be bringing in your like winter bedding yet. So what you can do instead is opt to just layer in warm toned throw pillows and throw blankets on top of your existing bedding. If you have light colored bedding and you aren't able to swap out duvet covers, don't worry. Pillows can make all the difference to your bed in the fall. Grabbing a few warm tone pillow shams and a throw can be super impactful. I'll leave you with a little roundup of some really cute fall decor products that I found. All the items are super affordable and are from Target. You'll find everything linked in the description. Thanks for tuning in today and I'll see you next time.